the the whole living history series is 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 something that's so sort of different from the standard um, you know talks that we go to in academia where we're going to you know to listen perhaps to participate but really to um, like to to um, to hear one specific narrative uh, going into each of these histories you have no idea um, what aspects of people's trajectories they're going to to touch upon and what it's going to look like and um, being able to do that live with another audience um, and people who then come afterwards with with great questions and have sparked many um, many discussions about the topics um, it's been um, one of the um, one of the important pieces of the experience, not just to hear the talks, but also to see how other people have responded to them. Um, what what elements have really resonated for others um, in the audience? So I think uh, you know these uh, the living histories in particular are are powerful when experienced um, uh, live with other people, and I, I always enjoy seeing. Um, what is going to to resonate with the other participants, um, and you know, I have I have intended um, almost every talk um, um, as a member of the team. Um, I think that uh, you know, initially I might not have. I might have just said, "Okay, I'll, I'll go to YouTube and watch the recordings because they're there." Um, but uh, after having been to um, several of the talks live I, I i realized like i enjoy this i would i would continue um going to these live events um because there's something uh powerful about um um hearing them um with other people 